Michael Ford. In a tailback. Lee going up top. That ball floats in the air and is caught down at the five-yard line into double coverage. That's a gate of 37. Reuben Randall gets through Martavius Nellums and Anthony. Kentucky's only had 15 offensive plays. There's some pressure. LSU picks it up. Odell Beckham Jr. Still on his feet. To the 20. Gets a block. He will take it. To the end zone. Touchdown LSU. 51 yards. The tree. Throw it away and third down and five is a whole lot easier to pick up than third and nine. Still had time to mount a drive there. And we are in the fourth quarter here, tied 6 6. First down and 10 after that 24 yard. Here's a Wildcat, huh? Hey, Jim McCarron, way down here. Yep. He can throw. Hayes puts it up. Has to wait on it. Got it. Michael Williams. And Mike. Which way? Which way? Intercepted. Oh, no. Eric Reed. I thought sure that Williams had it. How about that? Michael Williams was wide open, but the Reed. Randall starts in motion. They keep it on the ground. Hand it to Ford. And it'll be fourth down. I think... Les Miles said, the way we're playing defense, let's just live for another day. Hunt the ball here and take our chances on defense. We don't want to make a critical mistake on our own goal line and give this game away. I agree with them. Well, they're going to bring Marquise Mays hobbled with that bad ankle and with the memory of an interception he just threw. Now, the longest punt return allowed by LSU this year is seven yards. He got this one. This one. Look at oh, this. It's over his head. Oh, see, now Mays' ankle hurt him on this play. You've got to catch that ball. It cost this team 30 yards. Three twenty to go. Five and six. Jefferson. Hit from behind by Hightower. One of the very significant points. On Tom Ritter is our referee. Last minute piece of instruction for Jordan Jefferson. Away from the huddle. Gentlemen, we are about to enter the overtime period. Each team will get an opportunity to score from the 25-yard line. There will be one timeout per team. The winner of the toss gets their choice in the odd period. The loser of the toss gets their choice in the even period. The choices are offense, defense, or end of the field. Is everybody clear on the rules? Okay. LSU, you're the visiting captain. Same corn as we used at the toss. We got a head, we got an eagle with the tail. What is your call? Tails. tails. Call is tails. It is tails. Defense. Which end of the field? You're going to be. And Alabama wants to go to the end of the field where their fan base are, where the students are. They're going to play it into their students. Defense. It's a noisy end of the Alabama field. Alabama will have the ball first and 10 at the 25. No surprise there. Well, it's 6-6 as we go to overtime, and the difference in this game takes you back. Tate Foster missed wide right. Called upon again. This time it was wide right and short. And this 
This one was blocked and picked off by Eric Reed. They have made two. And what a game for Eric Reed, Gary. This interception is the other difference in the game. That could have been a touchdown for Alabama at least. First and goal from the one-yard line. A, as terrific as a heads-up play as I've seen in a long time. Well, the overtime records, LSU 7-5, and five, and Alabama 4-7. and seven. And let's all recall, back to 2008, 21-21. Remember, Alabama intercepted Jarrett Lee on first down when he did that, to end that game, 2008. Marquise Mays leads the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. Barrett Jones... Limping will line up at left tackle. This is the formation that LSU never found Richardson. Remember, he's in the slot here. Early in the game. Now in motion. On first down, snap back. McCarron underneath, incomplete. A.J. McCarron, redshirt sophomore. Won the battle, as we said. Uh, really won the job on the road at Penn State. In the opener against Kent State, not all that effective. Had that uh, fight with Philip Sims for the starting spot, but he played so well on the road, and he's been the starter ever since. And now... That's going to be a penalty. 12 men in the huddle. Oh, Hanks was the last one off. And remember, the field goal, has, as you just showed, substitution infraction on the offense, breaking the huddle with 12 players, five-yard penalty, total, second down. Hanks is not supposed to be out there when he runs off. That's a penalty. Right. Now, late minute defensive substitutions for LSU. They bring three new bodies on. Yeah, they bring Four, their five. Odd, yeah. They bring their odd front out with Brooks. Remember off the edge. They feel they can blitz from this odd front. Second down and 15. And they do. McCarron deep for Richardson over his head and incomplete. He had him, didn't he? Yes, he did. Would have taken a great throw. Matchup against Baker. He's going to just wheel it out of the outside. Not a good throw. A lot of space there. If he puts it inside the field, Richardson would catch that. Mm. Remember John Parker Wilson threw that one to Julio Jones down the left sideline? Just as tight a coverage. Mays, top of the screen. It's third down and 15. I wonder if they run it to try to get a field goal here. Kick the sack. Oh, boy. I thought they would try to run the ball to try to get a field goal position. It was a 47-yard field goal before the snap. 53 or 52 yard field goal after the snap. It's 52. He's missed twice this season from 53. McCarron will hold it. Cade Foster will attempt it. He does have one from 46 tonight. No. LSU gets the ball. A sack. Really put this thing out of, out of position. There was no way. He had no confidence. He did not hit it well. That's why I thought on third down, we would get a run. Now remember, LSU loves their kicker. They're going to be conservative here, aren't they? You would think. And don't discount the impact of that illegal substitution. Oh, yeah. Five-yard penalty there. Good All point, right. Burn. From the 25. And what did Nick tell us? No mental mistakes. They had a huge one right there. Jefferson sends Shepard in motion. There's the first conservative call. Spencer Ware. And he picks up three down to the 22-yard line. Dante Hightower, what's at stake? 
the lead in the SEC West and quite possibly if you win the SEC championship. How about this, Vern? The last three losses that Alabama had last year were all teams that threw the ball 20 times. LSU tonight has thrown the ball 17 times. That has been the formula. Second down. Option. Oh, he just did get rid of it. Ford down the sideline. They totally stepped out. They out called of him out. They out of bounds. Him out. There was no touchdown call. They called him out on the seven-yard line. Yes. Is it? Here's Ford. There you are. See it right here. Look at that. Oh, the official looking right at it, right on the line. Good call. There's the official eyeballing it from line. behind, eyeballing it. And another look at the left foot. And a really fine piece of officiating. He was out of bounds at the seven. You have to believe, don't you, that Alabama thought it was going to be another run up the middle? They went with the option, a good pitch, a good block. And I thought he was going to score. Did you think about kicking it right now? Got a good kicker. I wouldn't want to fumble the ball. <laughs> you win this game 9-6, you got inside track to the national championship. There's Drew Alamon. Getting a full season as the place kicker after John Jasper had graduated and sent all kinds of LSU records. Meanwhile, Alabama. Well, snap, bobbled, and didn't even come close. Yep. Carson Tinker with a bad snap, and it was uh, way short. Man, Alabama will rule this in overtime. Remember on first down, drop on the screen. Yep. Second, penalty. Third down, incomplete. And then on second down after the penalty, incomplete. And on third down, a sack. I think one more in the middle of the field, and out comes the kicker. Ford is the running back. Hilliard is the fullback. Jefferson is the quarterback, and they give it to Hilliard. Nothing. Second down and goal. Looking at uh, the LSU bench to see if there's any indication he's going to send the field goal unit on. Not yet. Foster missed from 52 after the low snap. Aren't things different? We got a true freshman in the game right there. Still on that play. Yeah. Yes. How about that? Drew Alamon from Lafayette, Louisiana. Still think they're going to center the ball in the middle. Here's where. Yes. Here comes the field goal yeah. team. The reason you kick on third down now is if you drop the snap, you got a chance on fourth down. A senior, Joey Cropel, number 50, is the snapper. Brad Wing, the punter from Australia, is the holder. And Drew Alimon, number 30. And this is for the win. 25 yards for victory. Timeout, Alabama. That is their one and only timeout of this overtime period. This will be a 30-second timeout. Yeah, Alamon manages a smile as he heads over. I think Alabama fans right now are looking for Terrence Cody for one saving block. Remember against Tennessee when he saved that one? That was the last time that Alabama did not score 20 points in yep. the game, as a matter of fact. They beat Tennessee as uh, Mount Cody had two blocks in that game, 12-10. And 
Well, you see anguish on the faces of these Alabama fans now. Again, it's going to be Crapel, Wing, and the kicker, Drew Alamon. LSU remains undefeated. Congratulations to Alabama. What a great game they played. What a tremendously talented team they have. And Coach Saban is doing a great job there as well. This gives your team an edge, but you still have a lot of football left to play. So how can you use this confidence down the stretch? This one was not the biggest game in the history of the world. Just so you know, these next games, those games are much more important. People are going to start talking a rematch if everything plays out. Are you in favor? I would, be, I would be honored to face that team again. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Vern? I am so glad that Les Miles <laughs> Thanks. Great. <laughs> Straight answers, right? There's the uh, play of the game presented by Napa Auto Parts. They set it up perfectly. And Drew Alimon drilled it home right through the heart. And a shower for Les Miles. Nine. Oh, that was cold. <laughs> Sam Montgomery? You bet. Nick Saban? Not tonight. This is the first time since Steve Spurrier and Florida beat Saban in back-to-back -back years that a coach has defeated him in the rematch game. One more time, the play of the game presented by Napa Auto Parts. This one went about down the middle as it could go, didn't it? Yes. I'll still say for me the play of the game was by Eric Reed saving that touchdown or a one-yard line play. I thought it was as good a play as I've seen this season. Talk about impact player. He has a knack for getting to the football. Four-man rush coming for LSU. They float one out in the middle of the field and it's intercepted picked off by ron brooks down the sideline and lsu on defense scores the game's first points jefferson pulls it back takes a shot at the end zone and it's an lsu touchdown russell shepherd his third touchdown catch of the season They lose the ball in the end zone on a trap handoff. And it looks like LSU has recovered for a touchdown. Philander Moore couldn't get the exchange. And it looks like Kevin Minter comes up with the fumble recovery for a touchdown. Eight yards and a touchdown. And now a zero blitz shown by Ole Miss. No deep safeties. And right up the middle with no deep safeties goes Spencer Ware. Well, if you bring your whole defense up to the line of scrimmage, there's no one home if you find a crease. No second line of defense. You get through that initial line, and that's all she wrote. And Spencer Ware took it to the house. And the pitch instead to Michael Ford. Ford inside the 10. Touchdown, LSU. <laughs> Day about how unclassy LSU was to roll to run up the score. Well, I, I think you run the ball. I don't think you take a knee. I think you run the ball. Now, well, that's all they've done in the second half. Yeah. They, they